firefighters have given chilling advice to residents as a fire rips through East Victoria as authorities warn the bushfires are worse than the Black Saturday bushfires almost a decade ago. Lightning sparked the fires in Bunyip State Park, about 65 kilometers east of Melbourne, on Friday night. Authorities initially thought the fires could be maintained, but then four separate blazes merged into one, burning out of control and resulting in evacuation orders for more than 20 suburbs. At least five homes have been destroyed as the out-of-control blaze continues to threaten residents. VIC Emergency issued a dire emergency warning at 7 p.m. on Sunday for suburbs located between Bunyip and Tanimbic, from the south to the north, and Tainong north to Ladradit, from the east to the west. You are in danger and need to act immediately to survive. The safest option is to take shelter indoors immediately, the warning said. It is too late to leave. Leaving now would be deadly. Earlier on Sunday, residents in Bunyip, Budgery, Dargo, and Lakola were forced to flee their homes as the fire continued to close in. Country Fire Authority Assistant Chief Officer Trevor Owen said the fire is more dangerous than 2009's Black Saturday bushfires, which killed 173 people and also started from a lightning strike. It's not a matter of if or may for further property damages that we might see today, it's a matter of we will, he said. Under those very strong conditions experienced on that day in 2009, it traveled neatly, whilst it damaged some property. It was a very narrow finger compared to what we're facing with this fire, because this fire has been growing, Mr. Owen told a community meeting in Pakenham today. The owner of Jinx Creek Winery on Tanimbic Road, Andrew Clark, told the Herald Sun he found out his property was lost while watching the news in a nearby cafe. We've lost our livelihood, we've lost horses, we've lost our whole vineyard, we've lost our whole cellar door, he said. Everything we've worked for our entire life, it's all gone in a couple of hours. It's surreal. I'm too scared to go back to look at it. Tina Forte, from Tanimbic, about 70 kilometers southeast of Melbourne, is fearful her home, which has belonged to her family since the 1800s, has burned to the ground. I'm just really worried about the animals because we just had to run yesterday," she told reporters on Sunday. We don't sleep, we don't care about our house we care about our livestock," she said. A former country fire authority volunteer has posted a desperate plea to Facebook about how to help horses amid the blaze. If it's too late to evacuate, the post tells residents to turn off their electric fences and strip the horse. Strip them down to nothing, no halter, no rugs, no fly mask. Nothing, the post shared by Animals Voice Equine and Canine Therapy said. We do not want the metal to burn or anything to get attached or caught. Purple spray or horse makeup or your makeup even, paint your phone number onto the horse. The advice also urges horse owners to cut the their tail so it doesn't touch the ground. Open all gates but first. 
move them to a paddock with the shortest amount of grass, the post continues. Horses are not dumb, don't keep them trapped, allow them to run from fire. The advice has been shared almost 4,000 times, and some said they followed similar instructions during the 2009 Black Saturday fires. Kyrie Ann Clissold, from Long Warrie North, said it was the right decision to leave. You could see flames hundreds of feet high across the whole ridge, and it had just whoosh up and the flames were reaching for the sky, she said of the Bunia blaze. Other residents have made the difficult decision to stay behind as the fire closes in. Stephen Clark, from Garfield, about 70 km southeast of Melbourne, watched the fire from his property and has decided to stay the night despite an increase in wind. He said the sun was blocked by smoke all day on Saturday. Frank Gibbons, the owner of Robin Hood Inn, in Drew and West, said he was fully booked out as people flocked for accommodation after fleeing fires. Last night we had pretty much all the rooms booked. I reckon they might be sleeping on the bloody pool tables tonight, he said on Sunday. Mr. Gibbons, who survived the Black Saturday bushfires, said, I never thought I'd have to do this again, as he hosed down the pub. Premier Daniel Andrews urged residents to follow warnings from authorities at a press conference alongside Emergency Management Commissioner Andrew Crisp. Don't put yourself in harm's way and potentially add to the already considerable workload our firefighters have, he said. There are about 19 fires still burning across the entire state of Victoria, and about 4663 hectares of bushland has been burnt. The hot and windy conditions are expected to linger until Wednesday. The Bureau of Meteorology senior forecaster Tom Delamote said the conditions could get the best of those fighting the fires. This means that if we have fires in the landscape, they could challenge firefighters, he said. This is the hottest start to autumn in 30 years following the hottest summer on record.